Thank you for joining us. Today we are going to discuss about something which we often use in tidyverse but we are not aware what exactly that is which is a tilde operator and a dot operator. Many times I have got this question which is what is this tilde operator or dot operator doing in functions like map from Perl or other dplyr functions. If you don't know what I'm talking about here, let's take an example and under, first understand what is this tilde and dot operator. If you've got empty cars data set, and let's say we want to multiply mpg and cyl column. We want to multiply it by two. First six rows of empty cars data set looks like this. And now using d plus mutate at we can do we specify the columns in vars and we use this let's take a deep first six rows using head so these are the original rows and after multiplying it by two, we see this. So as you can see, the first two columns here, MPG and CYL are multiplied by two. This 21 becomes 42. This 21 becomes 42 here again. 22.8 becomes 44.45.6. And all the cylinder columns as well are multiplied by 2. Rest of the columns remain the same. As we have specified, we want to multiply only MPG and cylinder column. So the question is basically, what is this tilde operator and this dot mean here? What does it do? So this tilde operator is basically a formula style syntax which is an alternative to anonymous function. I had a video about what is anonymous function. I'll post it in the description of this video. If you haven't seen it, you can go through it. Just to give a short recap on it, let's take an example. Let's say you have a list. So this is your list, list rec. And now uh, we want to take mean of this list using an anonymous function. So what you can do is using a supply. We take mean like this. So basically this part, we get mean of each element of the list using a supply. This function x part is called anonymous function because this function does not have a name so this formula style syntax is an alternative to anonymous function meaning you can write the above using anonymous function as well how you can do that is similar to the s apply example we can use like this as you can see this and this both of them give the same result first two columns are multiplied by two and rest all rest all the columns remain the same just to repeat the still operator is a formula style syntax which is an alternative to this anonymous function okay. here we see that we are using dot when we are using this tilde operator and we use x which is the variable coming from this anonymous function and multi we use this x and multiply it by 2. What if we use dot here similar to the above case? It will give an error stating that column mpg is of unsupported class data frame basically. Meaning it is trying to multiply 2 this 2 to entire data frame of empty car. 
in deep layer pipe dot usually refers to the previous value in the chain which is this empty cars data set here so to conclude the tilde here is basically a way in which we notify that we are using formula based syntax here and when we use this formula based syntax dot refers to the value of the column so it is the value of the column which is same as x used in anonymous punch we tried replacing x with dot in an anonymous function now just to give you something to think about what if we replace dot with dot x what do you think would be the output okay basically it's the same it gives the same output as dot you can see the first two columns are multiplied by 2 here as well as here and the rest of the columns are the same this is the original data where here it is 21 here it's 42 now and even here it is 42 so using dot and dot x works so is it kind of variable that you can use anything in the function and it will treat it as the column values let's find out if so this dot x works it gives the value which we expect now what if we use dot y okay it says list contains fewer than two elements and gives an error okay so what if x y z is it something that needs to be start no x y z not found so this gives an error as well let's take let's give one more try what if we use a here no it does not work as well so it is only dot x which works do you know why think about it for some time maybe google it maybe read the documentation as i have mentioned in my previous videos most of the answers are present in documentations so maybe go through the documentation and let me know in comments if you find out the reason why only dot x works here and not anything else i hope this video was useful for you maybe pardon me for the pronunciation of tilde i don't know how exactly it is pronounced but i hope you understand what i mean to say it is this operator thank you for watching see you soon